Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my fall candle and wax collection. I'm also going to include my wax melts in this just because I don't have a ton to show you guys. So I felt like I would just lump that in with my candle video. But yeah, I am going to show you guys all of the fall candles that I have for this year. I figured October is the perfect time to share with you guys. I'm trying to finish all this stuff off before I start buying Christmas candles. I do actually already have some Christmas candles left over from last year. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share with you guys what I have because I think my collection right now, I'm like totally in love with it. I have a great mixture of scents and I think it's really fun. So I'm excited to show you guys what I've got and let's just go ahead and get on into it. And I do just want to mention, I had gotten some of these candles for free actually because I got a few gift cards through Fetch because you guys signed up using my link. So if you want to sign up for Fetch down below, you can. It's an app that lets you scan all of your different receipts from different stores and you can get extra points on some grocery items and things like that. So I've gotten some free gift cards because of you guys. So thank you so much for doing that. That's like amazing. You can get a 10 or $20 uh, gift card from Bath and Body Works and from a bunch of different stores, but I obviously get them from Bath and Body Works. So if you want to sign up for that, my link is down below, not sponsored or anything. I just think it's cool and you get extra points if you sign up using mine so you can get free stuff quicker. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I laid everything out like pretty spacious on the bed. So I have three wicks, single wicks, and then wax. So let's go ahead and start with wax because I don't have too much. I do have two from Better Homes and Gardens. I got both of these this year, like actually a couple weeks ago. Vanilla bean and pumpkin, which is vanilla bean, cinnamon, caramel cream, toasted nutmeg, clove, and pumpkin scent notes. Um, it's really just like a vanilla pumpkin it smells amazing really really yummy i definitely get like nutmeg and clove it is such a nice like warm gourmand pumpkin scent super nice so if you guys are looking for uh, a little cheaper wax i think these were like four dollars a bar maybe three um and then i also have pumpkin and chai which is ginger pumpkin allspice clove nutmeg cinnamon oh my gosh so many notes toasted cassia and black tea this one is super super heavy on that chai so i haven't gotten to melt it just yet look at how dark that wax is it's so beautiful but i'm waiting until it's a little colder here to start melting this one but we are going to get a cold front next week so i'll probably end up melting it next week and then i only have a few from scentsy i didn't actually make a fall scentsy order yet um and i don't know if i will because I don't really need that much, um, but I definitely plan on doing a Christmas order. Um, but anyways, here we are. So I have honey pear cider, and I'm halfway through this one. It smells really good. It's nice and fresh. I've got cozy chai, which, oh my gosh, this one's amazing. I only have two, um, two little cubes left, but this one's so good. I want to pick up a few more bars of this to last me, you know, the rest of the winter because this is so yummy. It's such a beautiful, just like spicy scent note um, and then i have candied cranberry pecan i don't know if this one's actually fall or if it's winter but i used it in the fall um i used it like last month i think and it was really yummy so this one's really good halloween town i have going currently in my kitchen it is so good just like a nice and fruity candy scent so yummy and then ghostly greetings right here. I also am halfway through. I did this one um, earlier in the week and it's so, so, so yummy. It's like a nice like dark masculine type of scent. It's really, really yummy. And then I have November going right now in my bedroom from Kringle Candle. And I do really like it. It's nice and fresh. It's like a really nice bedroom scent, just keeping the room smelling um, fresh and clean. Okay, and then I'm going to move into my Homeworks candles. So I've got three big four wicks and two three wicks. So the first one right here is Farm Stand Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, you guys, I burned this one for the first time last week. And it is amazing. It is the perfect quintessential pumpkin scent. So the notes on this one are pumpkin puree, nutmeg, cinnamon stick, and sugared tonka bean. It is honestly the perfect pumpkin. So delicious. I Once I finish hot cider donut, I'm going to focus on this one 
for the rest of October and November, it's going to be so yummy. So that's a uh, farm stand pumpkin. And then we have Harvest Bake Shop, which is a little more bakery heavy gourmand. It's creamy pumpkin, crushed gingerbread, sugar molasses, and whipped buttercream. I think this one will be really good for November going into Christmas. It's just like a very heavy molasses pumpkin scent. So it's just like really, really gourmand and heavy. So I want to wait till it's a little colder to burn that one. And then hot cider donut I'm currently focusing on. I'm pretty much almost done with it. It is so delicious. The notes are harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, and vanilla bean. Oh, and spice cider. And I would definitely buy another one from Ulta like soon. Um, Cause I love this and I could see myself burning this year round, probably up until like spring, maybe not summer, but it really does smell just like how these donuts look on the front of the packaging. It's so, so delicious. So absolutely in love with that scent. And then I have these two three wicks. So this one is cozy weekend. I have not had a chance yet to burn this one. The notes are cozy woods, roasted almond, clover, honey, and vanilla. So it's more of like a um, fresh scent. I definitely get nutmeg, clove, honey, and vanilla. It's like a really nice, simple but sophisticated scent. And then deep dish apple pie, I did burn a couple times already. The notes are gooey apple nectar, cinnamon, vanilla, and pie crust. It really does smell like apple pie. It smells so good. This one's going to be amazing for like Thanksgiving and also for Christmas, honestly. Apple pie is good for both of those holidays. So I'm really enjoying this one so far. And then we have my Bath and Body Works three wicks. I only have six. Like, that's kind of crazy, right? Okay, so first I have White Pumpkin. And this is actually like a international label because it has so many different languages. But the notes are Gingered White Pumpkin, Caramel Glaze, and Warm Blended Spices. I have burned this once before. This is definitely like a November scent. It's so, so beautiful. Like, the most gorgeous pumpkin scent ever. Um, and it's not really like you'd eat a pumpkin. This is like definitely a very nice housewarming scent. So I'm in love with this and I cannot wait to bring it out for November. And then I have two pumpkin peanut brittles from this year. The notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. This one is amazing. It's definitely not the highest thrower. I would say it's more of like a six out of 10, but it is amazing. It smells just like Ritz crackers with peanut butter on top. So yummy. I think I'm going to save these one for next fall and one for like in the winter time, like January, February, um, I feel like it's going to be really good then. And then up here, I have Cuddle Weather, also from this year. The notes are warm ginger tea, cinnamon shortbread, and a cozy blanket. So this one I have not yet burned. Um, I actually just picked it up like a month ago. But it's definitely going to be a great winter scent. It is super, super spicy with that gingerbread. And I honestly smell a little bit of marshmallow, which it doesn't say that in here, but I do smell a little marshmallow. So this one's going to be really nice uh, November going into Christmas time. And like probably after Christmas, it'll still be really good. And then I have Harvest Gathering right here. The notes on this are fresh picked apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. This one smells like the inside of Hobby Lobby or Michael's around fall. That's what it smells like. It smells so delicious. I really get every single one of those scent notes, especially the clove in there is so strong. This is a really, really great one to get you into the fall mood. It's so good. And then I have pumpkin pecan waffles. This is from last year. The notes on this one are maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. You guys know what pumpkin pecan waffles smells like. It just smells like waffles and syrup. It smells so good. I'm loving this one. Currently focusing on this one downstairs in my kitchen and it is just amazing and getting me into the fall mood so well. And then I have this single wick in Spooky Cider Lane. The notes on this are bone chilling bourbon glazed apples, magical maple syrup, and voodoo vanilla. You guys know what Spooky Cider Lane's, or at least Cider Lane, smells like. It really does smell like apples and syrup and yeah, that's pretty much what it smells like. But I have this one going downstairs on my little skull glitter pedestal. And then I have this one little single wick from Target and Pumpkin Woods. And this is from the brand Threshold. It was $5. This is a really nice scent. I have it just on my bedside table and burning every now and then when I want to be in like a nice, you know, fall mood upstairs in the bedroom. And yeah, it's really nice. It kind of reminds me of White Pumpkin. Um, it's just like a sophisticated pumpkin scent and like an airy aromatic scent. So that is Pumpkin Woods. So that's my entire fall wax collection. So yeah, guys, that is everything for my fall wax collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can tell, my actual wax 
bar collection is pretty light and I'm keeping it that way on purpose. Um, October right now I am in a no buy so I'm trying not to buy anything. I honestly think that those, what is it, six, eight bars are going to last me through November at least or at least middle of November. So I don't feel like I'll need to buy many more fall scents. I'll probably get some more of that cozy chai scent, but like that's it for wax. I'm gonna just start focusing on Christmas now. And same with candles. I think I'm really good on candles right now. I think what I have right now is reasonable and I can actually get through it within the next couple of months. And if I don't, I'm totally comfortable with saving like, you know, three or four that I end up keeping through the next couple of months. And I'm also really comfortable with most of those scents burning them through the winter as well. So I'm just at a really good point in my collection right now that I think is like, really great. And if I just stick to the snow buy in October, I'm going to be good. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below. What is your favorite candle that you're burning currently right now? Mine is definitely um, pumpkin pecan waffles. It's just a great staple scent for fall. So that's everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like comment and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.